of over 30 different theater companies here at this demonstration, plus individual artists from across the spectrum of New York theater. And we're here because this is one of the very rare occasions where a theater company is the most prominent spokesperson for their people. The Free Theater of Belarus are not only brilliant artists, they have courageously taken on one of the sacred and rare tasks that the theater gets to take on, to speak for those who can't speak, to draw attention to those who need attention drawn to their plight. It's enormously exciting that we're all out here today to support the people of Belarus. Um, and it's thrilling that people from the theater community have joined in uh, in this. It's, it's, uh, it's enormously inspiring that art can speak to ty tyranny, art can speak to injustice, and art can have an effect on the world and make tyranny topple and injustice turned to justice. So thank you all very much for coming. In Belarus, we don't have gas. We don't have oil. We don't have mountains. We don't have sea. We just have people. And we are just people. And you are just people. Speak on our behalf that people are not products. Well, politicians need to speak on behalf of people. And you are the best people here. We can sign this petition right now. Take out your cell phones right now. We're going to touch Belarus, Spain, your name, Spain, zip code to 27138. And you will sign the petition. Tell your friends. People in Belarus go to jail for saying long live Belarus in Belarusian language. So I just want to ask you to scream, to chat, Живе Belarus in Belarusian language. People sit for this in jail in Belarus. So, Живе Belarus!